This is virtually the end of the line for the 500 twin that started off with a 1938 speed twin that we saw earlier. And uh, usually the last motorcycle that's produced in the line is the best. Uh, the 500 is named after the uh, Daytona winning. Um, a Triumph 1 Daytona in 1966 and 1967 on a 500 twin. Uh, the feature of this motorcycle is the two carburetors and the high performance camshafts and it's a little known fact that this motorcycle is a fast, it was the fastest British 500 production motorcycle. We hear about the BSA Gold Star and the Valisette Thruxton, how fast they were. They were very cantankerous, hard to start, very difficult to ride. This little bike starts easy, runs sweet, and it's actually faster. It had the higher top speed than, than the sporting singles. So this is the end of the line, but as I say, sometimes the end of the line, it, it, they get everything right, and this is, a, this is a real sleeper. It's very light, small, uh, a quick little bike. When you get into the 70s, Everybody was looking for a cubic inches, you know, like 650, 750, 850, uh, bigger and bigger and bigger. And a 500 was regarded as a pretty small motorcycle. So in a, over the, say, a 10, 15 year period, everybody moved up and they wanted more torque, more power, more cubes. So this motor got, you know, it was the end of, end of the line for it really. It, it had its day, but it went out with a flourish. The tanks are unique in that they're all hand striped. These aren't decals. Every tank is striped by hand and, it's, and they're all individual. So you're getting something hands-on finish on these motorcycles. It's not an applied decal. There's a real live person striping these things. They were mass produced, but not on the, on, uh, we think of mass produced like Honda, one every 30 seconds. I would say they build about 50, 50, 55 of these a day and uh, you usually get a couple of guys in the paint shop and they would they would paint these freehand no no uh, jigs or just doing freehand and if you if you look at the stripes the stripe would always line up with the badge so wherever the badge was they would stripe to the badge so you're getting a lot of a lot of hand assembled a lot of care and skill in assembly with this motorcycle if you were successful racing, normally if you're a young guy, you don't want to be seen on a, on a bike that's, that's a loser, you want to be on a bike that wins. You've got to have some bragging rights, that's what it's all about.